Hello YouTube and welcome diecast enthusiasts. This is diecast for you to see and for you to see today is a box opening. Now I bought this box a couple of weeks ago from an auction which is not too far from home around about 40 minutes and it's an evening auction. Um, I don't know if it's been resealed by the previous owner. It's possible but we'll take a look and see what's inside but um, it was pretty cheap so I thought that I would get a ch take a chance and really get it and see what there is can see that they are aircraft and it's very dusty so this could well have been opened um, that's called nose art. It's produced by Corgi, 2004. This is the Flying Fortress, Baby Lou. So we've got some information there. So it's the B-17 Flying Fortress with the Baby Lou decal there that they would have painted back in the day. You can see it sort of not very clearly because it's packed in this clamshell but on the sort of towards the nose maybe on the picture we can see it a bit clearer so that is quite a nice piece really the next one the Cripes Almighty and it's a P51 Mustang got the same artwork on this one that shows that baby Lou. You can just about see it through the package in there. So again that's quite nice. This is another Flying Fortress and this is the Memphis Bell which I do know from the film because this is a film that I've seen a few times. This one is the same so, so I won't spend time showing that again. This is the P38 Lightning, Sweet Sue there, the artwork on the nose, see the aircraft there. One more to go. Jumping Jacks P51 Mustang. I'll just 
take this box away we can see just quickly I'll run through them again because we can see it a little bit clearer there because we've got a little bit more space so that's the full card at the back there's the other Mustang with the Cripes Almighty Flying Fortress Baby Lou the P38 Lightning Sweet Sue and then finally we've got the Flying Fortress B17 Memphis Bell so what I'll do is um, I'll stop the video and as I've got two of these in this box I'm going to crack this open and we can just take a little look at it a wee bit closer and just see what they're like to be honest this is pretty nice quality set as you can see you've got a little stand there with the nose art here that's you can just place in there for display and this is constructed of metal and plastic I would say but that is a nice quality piece and then the aircraft itself is is metal you've got quite a lot of decent detail on there not sure if that's going to focus not very well but you can see the artwork on the nose there and you've got the underside detail so that is pretty nice set not not um, a set I'm familiar with but to be fair I do not collect aircraft size wise and wingspan we're looking at around about just over four and a half inches so I'm not sure if if this is one in one 144th scale that is a scale I'm aware of um, and we get this just small card that was inside the packet from Corgi it gives some information there about the Flying Fortress Memphis Bell so you can pause that and read through it so I'm pretty pleased with this set I will only probably keep this Memphis Bell one um, because as I've said a few times like in the film but I'm quite impressed by the quality of this so for any of you out there that like aircraft and military then this is a nice set so um, I'll leave off by saying Take care, stay safe and bye for now.